Picture this. You're all set to watch the latest episode of your favorite show. You click play, but instead of your show, a message pops up. No content file found. Ugh, talk about a mood killer, right? It's like that moment when you reach for your phone, but it's not in your pocket. Panic sets in. Did you lose it? Did someone steal it? Where could it be? Well, the no content file found error is basically the internet's way of telling you it lost your file. And just like losing your phone, it's super frustrating. This error message can be a real party pooper, especially when you're excited to access some content online. Whether you're streaming a movie, browsing a website, or trying to open a document, this error can really throw a wrench in your plans. But don't worry, just like we find our phones, usually wedged between the couch cushions, we can fix this error too. And trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Okay, so let's break this down in a way even I can understand. Imagine the internet as a giant library, and every website, video, or document is a book. When you want to access something online, your web browser is basically like you walking up to the librarian, the server, and asking for a specific book. Now, when you get that no content file found error, it's like the librarian going to the shelf, looking for your book, and then coming back empty-handed. They're basically saying, hmm, I looked everywhere, but I can't seem to find that book you're looking for. There could be a few reasons for this. Maybe the book was moved to a different shelf, or maybe it's checked out by someone else. Or in some cases, the book might have accidentally been removed altogether. The good news is that most of the time, this is just a temporary glitch. Just like libraries reorganize their shelves, websites and servers sometimes move things around too. So we know that the no content file found error means something went awry, but what exactly causes it? Well, it's like trying to figure out who ate the last cookie. There are a few usual suspects. One possibility is that you might have mistyped the web address, kind of like writing down the wrong library card number. Another possibility is that the website you're trying to access might be down for maintenance, like the library closing for a renovation. Sometimes the issue could be on your end. Maybe your internet connection is acting up, or your browser cache is full of old data. It's like trying to find a book in a messy room. Sometimes you just need to tidy up a bit. Whatever the reason, don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's put on our detective hats and start investigating the no content file found mystery. The good news is, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to solve this case. The first thing you can do is double check the web address. It's easy to make a typo, especially if you're typing quickly, or the address is long and complicated. Imagine trying to remember a complicated library card number. One wrong digit and you're out of luck. Next, try refreshing the page. Sometimes a simple refresh can do the trick. It's like giving the website a little nudge to say, hey, I'm still here, can you try finding that file again? If that doesn't work, try clearing your browser cache and cookies. These are like little digital footprints that websites use to remember you, but sometimes they can get cluttered and cause problems. Think of it like cleaning out your browser's junk drawer. Section 5. The wrong address, incorrect file paths, and URLs. Remember our library analogy? Sometimes, the no content file found error pops up because you've given the wrong directions. In internet speak, that means the URL or file path you've entered is incorrect. Think of it like this. You wouldn't expect to find your favorite sci-fi novel in the history section, would you? Similarly, a web server won't find the file you're looking for if the URL points to the wrong location. Even a tiny typo like a missing letter or an extra slash can lead you astray. It's like trying to find 123 Main Street and accidentally typing 124, you'll end up at the wrong house. So what's the solution? Double check, triple check, and then check again. Make sure you've typed the URL correctly, paying close attention to spelling, capitalization, and special characters. If you copied and pasted the link from somewhere else, make sure you didn't accidentally grab any extra spaces or characters. Section six, file on vacation, permissions and access issues. Sometimes the file you're looking for exists, but you don't have permission to access it. It's like walking up to a locked door in the library. You can see the books inside, but you need a key to get in. Websites often have restricted areas that require special permissions to access. These permissions are like VIP passes, and you need the right credentials to get past the bouncer, the web server. If you're trying to access a file on a website that requires a login, make sure you're logged in with the correct username and password. 
If you're trying to access a file on a shared network, make sure you have the necessary permissions from the network administrator. Sometimes, websites accidentally restrict access to files, causing the dreaded no content file found error. If you suspect this is the case, try contacting the website owner or administrator for help. Section 7. Case Dismissed, Clearing Cache and Cookies Let's talk about cache and cookies, those little digital crumbs that websites leave behind on your computer. They're like sticky notes that help websites remember you and your preferences. Now, while these crumbs can be helpful, sometimes they can get stale and cause problems, like attracting digital ants, not the fun kind. When your cache and cookies get too cluttered, it can confuse your browser and lead to errors, including the no content file found error. Imagine trying to find a specific recipe in a cookbook that's covered in food stains and scribbles. It's a mess. Clearing your cache and cookies is like giving that cookbook a good wipe down, making it easier to find what you're looking for. Most browsers make it easy to clear your cache and cookies. Just look for the settings or options menu and find the section related to privacy or browsing history. A quick cleanup can often resolve those pesky no content file found errors. Section eight, the refresh button, your trusty sidekick. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. When it comes to troubleshooting website errors, the refresh button is your best friend. Think of it like giving your browser a gentle nudge. Sometimes websites and servers experience temporary hiccups and a simple refresh can help reestablish the connection and load the missing content. If you encounter the no content file found error, don't panic. Take a deep breath and hit that refresh button. You might be surprised how often this quick fix does the trick. It's like asking the librarian to double check the shelf one more time. They might have just overlooked the book you were looking for. Section 9, calling for backup technical support to the rescue. If you've tried all the basic troubleshooting steps and you're still seeing the no content file found error, don't despair. It's time to call in the big guns technical support. Just like you'd call a plumber for a leaky faucet or an electrician for a power outage, sometimes you need a tech expert to help you solve those pesky computer problems. Most websites and online services have dedicated technical support teams who are trained to handle these types of issues. They're like the IT detectives of the internet, ready to investigate and solve your digital dilemmas. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. Technical support teams are there to assist you and get you back to browsing, streaming, and working without a hitch. Section 10. Prevention is key tips to avoid future file mishaps. While we can't prevent every no content file found error from happening, it's the internet after all. There are a few things you can do to minimize the chances of encountering this frustrating message in the future. First and foremost, double check those URLs. Pay close attention to spelling, capitalization, and special characters. If you're not sure about a link, it's always a good idea to hover over it with your mouse to see the full URL before clicking. Keep your browser up to date. Browser updates often include bug fixes and security patches that can help prevent errors. Think of it like giving your browser a tune-up. A little maintenance goes a long way. Bookmark your favorite websites. This will help you avoid typos and ensure you're always accessing the correct URL. It's like having a dedicated shelf for your favorite books in the library. You know exactly where to find them. Section 11. Conclusion. Mastering the art of finding lost files. The no content file. Found error can be frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. By understanding the common causes and following the simple troubleshooting steps outlined in this essay, you'll be well equipped to handle this and other website errors like a pro. Remember, the internet is a vast and ever-changing landscape, and sometimes things go astray. But with a little patience, persistence, and a dash of humor, you can navigate these digital detours and get back to enjoying all the wonders the online world has to offer. So the next time you encounter that dreaded no content file found message, don't panic. Take a deep breath, channel your inner tech detective, and remember, you've got this.